Hi, it is Stephen Davids here, and in this video I want to tell you about the seven key elements of the e-marketing. As you can see from uh, the pictures in, uh, above, e-marketing is not sim uh, dissimilar to usual marketing because the marketplace is very condensed. The first element of e-marketing is that it is part of the electronic e-marketing system. I started out with the misconception as many people think that you just have a good company website and then you write great content and the people will come to you. This isn't like that. I developed unfortunately further and saw that a good underlying uh, SEO will be uh, also good and that it will then just get people to the website. The search in engine optimization in itself a company to the website unfortunately do not help. E-marketing and uh, your website forms part of the advertising ecosystem on the electronic basis that consists of your videos, your blog, your YouTube channel, your Twitter account, your Facebook account, your LinkedIn account, even uh, your Reddit account or whatever other social medium you use and then all these elements that you use forms part of the e-marketing ecosystem. But then you must also take into consideration that e-marketing ecosystem forms part of the general uh, marketing culture in the company. And that means maybe the company has a certain culture of helpfulness that it must have, of customer friendliness, of uh, acting in time, the services that the company or the goods that the company provide, and together with that, your e-marketing elements is. You do not have e-marketing as a separate thing. E-marketing forms part of the whole ecosystem of your company's marketing. If you neglect any of the elements of the ecosystem, you will not succeed in your marketing campaign. Therefore, you must check that the elements of your all marketing ecosystem, like your culture, like your services, as well as the e-marketing elements, the social media elements, the YouTube, all those things must be in line and aligned and must be balanced. If you want to uh, simplify e-marketing in terms of the three most used platforms, it is basically your website that is underlined and underpinned by your search engine optimization techniques. The other element of your e-marketing as the electronic elements are then YouTube. YouTube uh, people access these days nowadays, access the website uh, like Google is then close to YouTube because people want a lot uh, having the uh, data from uh, videos and then also have your blog. But uh, I noticed that, that many people uh, that they even make videos of the blog. So the blog per se I do not think it has any value necessarily these days uh, because uh, you will find many, many videos where people just um, virtually read their blogs. Then the third element of the e-marketing uh, uh, electronic side is in your social uh, platforms and the social platforms of course Facebook is the most uh, uh <coughs> used social platform but it all depends on your uh, clients and your customers because in my case my customers are more on LinkedIn they are professional people I aim for I'm not necessarily selling to the general public and then for example you can have a social platform as us Twitter or Reddit uh, some people are very good in having one of these elements for example Mr. Trump use just use Twitter and uh, many other politicians perhaps just use Twitter you get a YouTube millionaires. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, that for you as a startup SME, small um, to medium enterprise, you must have a balance and from that balance you will later determine which one is most effective for you. 
you in your e-marketing uh, you must all still have your correct marketing mixture uh, this uh, seven piece uh, service uh, services uh, for the uh, marketing uh, mixture is for the services uh, uh, supplier and not necessarily your goods uh, supplier people physical evidence promotion uh, these things i do not necessarily focus on now but you must remember that your marketing must still have your marketing correct marketing mix the correct marketing mix which is important uh, april dunford she has a lot of very good videos online she calls the uh, product context and uh, uh, the marketing mix it is uh, everything must sort of be in balance and you will find out uh, what the balance must be uh, with through trial and error sometimes You must also remember that uh, e-marketing has an ultimate goal, and the ultimate goal of e-marketing is not to keep you busy. Uh, it is m you must make a profit, uh, and in order to make your profit, you must have um, regular campaigns, for example, email campaigns, etc. Uh, your 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 campaigns must always be goal-driven. In other words, over a fixed period of a month or something, I want two thousand around eight thousand around. You use analytics for this. Um, all your communication at the end of your marketing must conclude with a call to action, and then. Um, Simple brand awareness, just for the sake of it, you must, you, you can't avoid it. Of course, you can't avoid it, but you must optimally use it. You must not only have brand awareness, brand awareness, brand awareness, and there's nothing happening. Uh, but because uh, some people, uh, sometimes they, they uh, mention that uh, people must see your brand for about seven, eight times before they actually start engaging you. Your uh, financial goal uh, can be then uh, uh, driven by two things. Uh, it's by a product. You uh, product solutions. You provide product solutions. Uh, I want to uh, sell X number of books. Uh, provide X number of trainings. Or you can have knowledge uh, uh, solutions that you provide for people. And this is in. Uh, the uh, a driver for your finances for example you say this many people must subscribe this pe many people must like the page or you can have uh, something such as affiliate marketing this number of affiliated marketing clicks you want uh, affiliate marketing is also a knowledge driven because though you do not sell something but people uh, via your website and via your thing they sell other people's products uh, so you provide knowledge so therefore you have either products solutions that you provide to your customers or knowledge solutions but the ultimate goal is from those provision of those two products you want to get a profit you must also try to um, entice the people and uh, uh, to buy your product, uh, to get your uh, knowledge uh, that you want, and therefore, for product solutions, you must uh, conclude your call to actions. Please buy a book. Contact us to deliver training. Contact us to do, do your order. Contact us to do your marketing. Please give us feedback. These are around the product that you sell. If you have knowledge um, that you want to provide to people, you must still have a call to action. Uh, they must the, the the listener must be enticed or um, asked to do something uh, like us on video please like uh, this video like us on facebook please share this please subscribe to our newsletter youtube channel or blog please give us feedback tell us about your problems so there must always be a call to action and then uh, just because you have something in your mind, it does not mean your <coughs> marketing campaign will work out. You must have a strategy, and the strategy must be uh, properly thought out. Uh, it's easy uh, for a uh, small entrepreneur just to be happy to say, I've got something in my head, I know what you want. But there is no the value in writing it. If you value, if you write something down, it helps you to clarify your ideas. You get um, ideas to think it through, other options. There is just a qualitative, a qualitative reference to have something in your, in your head and then putting something in writing. And uh, well, things can change, and, but you have a plan. 
The last key element is that you must make time for key marketing. Key marketing, uh, e-marketing is important. You must remember it's available day and night, 24 hours. It, it doesn't get sick. It doesn't get injured. It doesn't strike. It doesn't need to be paid for overwork. It doesn't, uh, uh, it's worldwide. It's wherever you want it. So please make time for your e-marketing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this uh, channel. We love constructive comments and criticism. Thank you very much.